Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a review of the first version of Internet Explorer 11 which is basically a preview version and not a full version. With uh, Windows 8.1 we uh, also had a uh, upgrade of an IE 11 from IE 10 so Windows 8 basically had Internet Explorer 10 installed with Windows 8.1, we're going to have uh, Internet Explorer 11. Um, they promise that it should be faster and actually run better than any other browsers. It should be faster than the 10, which was already pretty good and pretty fast. So um, it's kind of a little surprising uh, to try. Now, I compared this version with my IE 10 on my um, Windows 8 laptop and so um, I can tell you that um, speed wise uh, I haven't seen much of a difference it's already so fast in IE uh, 10 one of the problems also ab about this little test it's not really accurate because my laptop is a core i5 machine and this is on a Core 2 Duo so it's not the same speed and performance so it uh, really kind of um, makes me um, tell you that the tests that I've done are really good for performance wise but I was still surprised that even on a Core 2 machine the uh, loading times of all the internet pages I tried are basically pretty much almost the same even though this is an older machine so it kind of tells us that Internet Explorer 11 is quite a good performer here now this is a preview version so what happened is that on um, testing different websites I actually encountered some error messages so it gives you a little idea that it's not complete yet um, it didn't prevent me from viewing the websites but it did prevent me it did actually you know just annoy me a little bit with these error messages here and there but not too many uh, I would say that in uh, maybe 30 web pages that I viewed uh, only one or two gave me error messages but it means that of course you can encounter some error messages with this version so it's it's not complete it's a kind of a little normal it's basically a beta version so uh, don't use it necessarily as a full browser if something is wrong you can still go and use another machine or use your regular Windows 8 with uh, IE 10 so um, what happens is you've got the desktop version available so if you go into your desktop you'll see that IE 10 is here as a desktop version has the same feel and look of uh, uh, of Internet Explorer 10 basically on the surface you don't see much differences um, this is a metro one and um, so a quick look kinda shows you basically something that resembles pretty much but there's something new on IE 11 and it's the little star at the bottom right they finally decided to bring back a little feature called favorites um, because people were kinda complaining but it's it's favorites but it's not favorites at the same time it's, it's a little awkward um, yeah you can add your favorites to um, Internet Explorer by clicking the little star here and it brings up your favorites bar um, what needs to be improved about the favorites is the fact that when you put favorites on your desktop IE 11 they'll show up on the Metro or the modern interface IE 11 but if you put favorites here they don't show up on the desktop version so I hope they fix that because one of the first things that you want is if you're going to go in between the desktop and the modern version of IE 11 you basically want to have the same favorites everywhere so um, that's one fix that they need to actually uh, do here Now, IE 11 is only available in the Windows 8.1 preview. Um, once Windows 8.1 will come out, you'll have IE 11 available. 
as for Windows 7 users, we kind of had a confirmation that there could eventually be an IE 11 for Windows 7. Uh, but it's not really clear, there's no date. Uh, it's kind of like Windows 7. Um, when IE 10 came out with Windows 8, uh, it took more than six months before we had an IE 10 for Windows 7, which is kind of awkward because Microsoft always released uh, in the past its Internet Explorer browser for all versions of Windows at the same time. And uh, basically, if you had IE9, I remember when we had IE9 come out for Vista, it was also for Windows 7. And it came out pretty much the same. And now IE10 came out for Windows 8, six months later for Windows 7. And, uh, well, Vista users are still stuck in IE9. So there's no IE10 for Vista users. And, of course, Windows XP, well, it's going to expire next year. So, the, you know, you're just stuck at Internet Explorer 8, which is getting pretty old. Um, One of the problems that had Internet Explorer 10 is a limit on um, the tabs. You had a maximum of 10 tabs that you can open uh, at the same time and then go through the different tabs. And in um, IE 11, uh, they're going beyond that. So um, apparently there's no set limit for the number of tabs that can be open in IE 11 and um, so that's one improved thing if you're a big big user of tabs and just go through different tabs uh, well it's pretty cool because now you will have um, in any version that you use if you want to have new tabs you can now open as many as you want and not be limited to 10 tabs like you were before so that's pretty cool uh, and it's a good improvement over uh, the 10 tab limit uh, I personally didn't find that a limit because I never never open so many tabs uh, but um, apparently a lot of users uh, tend to use tabs and have a lot of them to uh, compensate and go quickly from one website to the other One interesting feature of IE11 also is the fact that uh, because it automatically reallocates memory to each tab and um, it actually pauses tabs that haven't been used for a while, um, it really, really improves performance. One of the biggest problems when you have many tabs open is the fact that it slows down your browser and your computer sometimes because if you have some of the websites open in tabs that have a lot of uh, features and all of, uh, for example, you're going uh, one tabs at YouTube and another one's at um, your uh, msn.com website. What you'll notice is that there's ads and all sorts of stuff on these websites that actually uh, are moving and doing something all the time. And what's cool in IE11 is that if you haven't clicked a, a tab after a certain while, it freezes that tab so that it doesn't take too much power out of your computer. So that's a big improvement in performance. Um, I did open about 20 tabs and um, IE11 did crash on me, uh, but apparently um, I've, I've searched the web. A lot of people say they opened a lot of tabs and it was okay. So uh, it could be the tabs that I opened. Like I said, this is a preview version, not a complete version. So there's still some place for improvement in your um, computer and your IE11 basically. Um, <clears throat> what's cool now is that you can actually snap better now in um, Internet and in Windows 8 sorry and what's cool is that you can actually snap together 
two versions of your Internet Explorer. So for example here I snap the desktop and the Metro versions together and you see I've got two browsers so basically I can uh, go into one browser and search for something and go into this browser and say um, I want to search for uh, something else and have both sites together so it's pretty pretty nice because now you can really really have two windows and uh, snap them and if you're working on one or the other you can move the snap feature and work on the other one have more window space and uh, go back here and say okay I want more there and when you're finished well you can just you know unsnap and that's it you're now back to a full version and uh, go in between a full version here or the metro version here so depending on what you do it's uh, very nice I think this is a cool way of uh, actually working with Internet Explorer you now have the possibility to uh, snap and you can snap up to four windows in Windows 8.1 so it means you can snap four IE windows one next to the other which is pretty cool Extended use of HTML5 in Internet Explorer 11 also, which means that uh, it now supports, for example, if you uh, are your Netflix user, uh, it will actually use HTML5 for streaming video. And that's nice. So you now have possibility of HTML5. Um, a few more features that are um, interesting is the fact that now it supports some features like WebGL for improved graphics performance. Um, so hopefully um, it should get quite nice and quite cool. Um, for testing purpose I compared this preview version of Internet Explorer 11 to Firefox 22 which is the latest browser that came out from Mozilla and um, I've got mixed results uh, some web pages loaded faster on IE 11 some were a little faster on IE on Firefox 22 but I can say that overall they're almost at the same speed so uh, there was an improvement in Firefox because Firefox was much slower um, when I last tested it which uh, was version 20 uh, but now it's really getting to the par so uh, will it be faster when the official IE 11 comes out I don't know but it's interesting uh, to note that they're uh, pretty much at the same speed at this time so um, good performance out of uh, IE 11 so that's kind of the quick view of IE 11 I hope uh, you enjoyed it and um, if you have any comments questions let us know um, and if you have uh, if you like our videos click the subscribe button you'll be informed when new videos are online and of course uh, take a look at our at our other videos that we have online if you have a uh, uh, a computer with Windows 8 uh, then you might uh, wanna try and uh, learn more about Windows and um, follow our videos that can show you how to use Windows 8 to the max so this was, this, uh, was the review of uh, Internet Explorer 11 and um, quite a nice browser and let's hope that it is um, improved again on the official release date of Windows 8.1 where you'll have the full and uh, great version of hopefully better even version of Internet Explorer 11 so thanks for watching and um, hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel bye bye